Thank you, Lynn. It's a celebration of black culture, community, music, and love. It is the third annual Give Black Ball. It's happening next Friday, November 25th. And the great thing about this is that it's a formal affair, so you can get dressed up, dressed to the nines, and it gives back to a local black-owned organization. Joining us now is Jordan Johnson, a.k.a. Shorty, CEO and founder. I know, I can't go through you, all you your names. Going, but... You keep going, yeah. <laughs> well, Christmas came a little bit early, right? I told you, I'm, I'm feeling gifted. I'm a gift to the world. I like to use my gifts. So as soon as we hit this season, I'm ready. Well, hey, Black Friday is going to be a gift, really, to all of St. Louis. Yeah. It's the third annual Give Black Ball. What can people expect? I mean, just a, a great time, man. It's, 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 it's going to be the best looking and most love filled room in the city that night, guaranteed. Um, Black Friday, every year we do it. This year we are honoring uh, Rising School Supplies. Big shouts going out to Derek Walker, who has been up here, you know, multiple times and collabed with him on a lot of things, man. So I'm just looking forward to it. We're going to have live music. You know, we start off with the cocktail hour. We'll serve you a little, you know, your small your bites, your appetite. Yeah. And of course it gives like, like you know, women like yourself. You like to dress up and we put do. on the long dress. Yeah. Get a little cute. Yeah, get for sure. And all the fellas come looking to the tea. And I, I, that's what I really look forward to. It's a, it's a good family environment, but also celebrating celebrating the city and, and of course the beautiful black people in the city and just a night of good energy, man. I love that. Well, yeah. we're channeling all of our good energy. How did this ball get started? Well, I really, um, when I first started coming back home, I was doing these things called live band experiences and I was trying to curate a space um, where I kind of felt it was absence for it. And originally the idea was just to, um, you know, have opportunity for us to dress up. But during that same year when I was coming up with it, a good friend of mine, uh, Quentin Jackson had, had passed away. Um, he had a clothing line called BPLR, and I wanted to do something for his family and his kids. So I was like, man, let me do this and honor them and give a portion of the proceeds back to his family. And, you know, it turned into something. Um, somebody from BPLR was like, man, you should do this every year. Like, this is going to be big. So, um, yeah, last year we honored black people who hike. This year is Rising School Supplies, and I wanted to continue to grow. So it's really, um, I'm inspired by the city. Everything I do, I'm inspired by the city, always have been. So this is really just about, you know, us just celebrating us, for well, real. That's what it's all about. And yeah. you're giving back, which is so, so, so important. For sure. And I love the play on words. It's the give black ball. It's yeah. happening on Black Friday. It's uplifting yeah. the black community. But you just mentioned that you are a gift. St. Yes. Louis loves you. What yeah. is a shorty show love day? That's also oh, happening yes. very soon. I'm glad you said that. Hey, you know, I'm just doing my <laughs> job, shorty. Um, so last year, uh, my project manager, who you just had on, who does amazing events herself, Stacy Pugh, she called me as I was getting ready and was like, the mayor is here, Tashara Jones is here, she's waiting on you. And I'm like, what? So I'm like speeding to the venue, and I was like, if they try to pull me over, I'm going to see the mayor. So. <laughs> I think I'll be all right. But um, when I got there, she, you know, I, to my surprise, presented me with this proclamation wow. um, declaring November 26th as, as Jordan Johnson Day or AKA Shorty Show Love Day. And so on that day, I just been encouraging everybody to just um, pay it forward. You know, usually around the holidays, I started doing this random thing where I was like, it started while I was doing radio in DC. I was like at a Popeyes or something and I was feeling good and it was like seven people behind me in line and I was like, Hey, I'm going to pay for everybody meal. Oh, I love that. You know, and so on that day, I'm just encouraging people to just show love because ultimately, like, we got to be better to each other, you know. And so on that day, on November 26th, where camera I'm at? Right here. Yeah, November 26th, man, you know, it's Shorty Show Love Day. So after, after you come to the Give Black Ball, whether you are or not, man, just do something that day to be better to somebody else, man. Pay it forward. And if somebody does it for you, you do it for the next person. It don't always got to be monetary, but you know, during the holidays, people need that assistance. We do need that love. So yeah. continue to show love to everybody you come in contact with. It's also the Give Black Ball. You can actually yeah. purchase those tickets online. Every that. All of that information is right there on your screen. Again, November 25th from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. The attire is formal. formal. And again, benefits go to rides in school. Supplies. They look good, don't they? Don't they? They look great. Yeah. Hey, St. Louis, you can look great too. We'll see you right back here after this quick commercial break.